I don't know. It's a good book, but is it the right one? Ah, ah, this one works better, but, uh, uh but I don't know. Oh, I am sorry. Is it that late already? Oh, I can get going if you need me to. I just wanted to get this book chosen for my students before I left for the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll make sure to lock up before I leave. I promise I'll take very good care of the books. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? This is not the book. Oh, hey, I thought you said I'd have... Angel? What are you doing here? Oh, of course I'm happy. I'm just surprised. How did you know I was here? Right, right, the sign on my door. I, I forgot that I put it there. I didn't expect to be here so long. I'm very happy that you are. Dinner? No, we weren't going to have dinner tonight. We were going to have dinner... Tonight. Oh, bloody hell, it's Friday. I am so, so sorry. I completely forgot. Uh, oh, oh, my phone is still in my office. I didn't want it going off in the library. Sh shit. That's why I never got your messages. <sighs> I know. But that doesn't excuse it. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Good. Good. Work shouldn't mean I miss dates. That's just rude, and you deserve better than that. Would you like to go to dinner now? I can pause all this until Monday. It's not that important. Uh, well, I'm looking for a book. Every month I showcase a book for my class. If you read it, you get extra credit in the class. I They never utilize it, but you never know. I just haven't decided on what book yet. It's been a bit difficult because there are so many amazing ones. You want to help? Oh, you, you don't have to. You should get your date night. You look beautiful, and a library is not the place I plan to take you. You are amazing, Angel. Truly my angel. I am looking for a romance book. Um, we've done mystery, non-fiction, biography. It's time for something... A little different. <laughs> well, this is a graduate level course. I think they know about the birds and the bees, Angel. Um, I don't want it too graphic, but we are all adults, and this is an important part of the literary world. And this is a good example. It has a fade to black scene in the book, and you know enough that it pushes the plot forward. But I chose it last year, and I want to get something new. Uh, and that, on the other hand, is shameless smut. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with that. I've read it. It's good. It's just not the aim. Oh, no pouting. You're welcome to check it out for yourself. I have an account here. It's just not for the class. Yes. Yes, you can come here with me whenever you want to look at the books. I think there is like, um, oh, what is it? Um, over two million books across the campus libraries? I think that's right. 
not even close to the most of any university, but it's respectable. You can close your mouth, Angel. I know it seems like a lot, but this is a big school. I'll bring you here any day if that's what you want. Let you have a nice long reading session. <laughs> oh, that would have been the best date ever. Not the one I planned originally. Oh, well, I guess I can start putting less work into our date nights, darling. That's good to know. Books always win. I'll remember that. What is it my students call them? Um... <laughs> uh, uh, book Boyfriends of the Gold, is that right? Well, then I guess I'd better keep up with my reading. See what they have that we can learn from. Oh, really? I'd be the best book boyfriend. Well, don't let the other guys hear you say that. They'll get jealous. I know what that smirk means, gorgeous. Don't think I can't read you. I hope you know just how amazing you are, Angel. I missed a date. I get distracted by work way more often than I should. I mean, you take it in your stride. You don't even get mad at me. I'm trying to say I appreciate you for all your understanding. No one else would ever do that. I love you, Angel. I just want to make sure you know that. And no matter what, you are everything to me. Work would be nothing if I didn't have you to come home to. You are my home. I love you too, sweet girl. These little moments with you alone, they're everything. And speaking of distractions, damn, they have perfect timing, don't they? Well, tell them we'll be there on time. I've just got to get this book, then we can order with everyone together. Perfect. Mm. Oh, now this may be a good one. Nothing crazy has a great moral stance. Would invite a lot of contra... Did you say something? Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure I heard something. A little squeak. Maybe a whimper. Mm. And now you're biting your lip. What are you trying to hide, Angel? <laughs> that book. Mm. Well, I do believe that I've read that one, Angel. It's very interesting, really. It's an older professor finding love and sorts of drama and intrigue sneaking around not wanting to get caught. I can see what may have caught your eye. And that gorgeous shirtless man on the cover tends to grab a lot of people. <laughs> oh, well, I believe my favorite section is on page 285. Is that what caught your eye? No. No, okay. Well, then let me tell you a little about it. In that chapter, he turns her around. 
has his chest right against her back. Mouth right by her ear. Kisses her neck. And slowly, he trails his fingers from her hip. Is that what you like, Angel? Hmm? Yeah, right here. The library's empty. It's just us. <laughs>